So currently on our farm, we have three separate flocks of birds. We have our chickens, which are pullets really, I guess. They're, they're still pretty young. We hatched them out a couple months ago. They aren't even laying eggs. They're just growing into being chickens. Ah, oh, chickens. We have our ducks who were the first animals on our farm and we've got about 15 ducks right now that we're gonna winter over this year. Release the quacken! <laughs> and we have our geese. Good morning, geese. How are you, my friends? As you guys know from a recent video, we harvested most of the geese, but we still have those five geese that we plan to use for future generations and breeding into the next couple of years. And I also want to use those geese as guard animals for my ducks and, and try to keep the ducks a little safer and give them some extra protection. The problem is I raised them separately. So, so if you raise ducks and geese together, like in the same flock from, from brooder age on up, they will actually grow to love each other and treat each other like they're from the same flock. But if you raise them separately, they can be a bit contentious when you first put them together. That works for ducks in kind of any setting too. Like when I introduced our four mini quacken to the rest of the quacken earlier this year, it took a little adjustment period to get them to work together. They still seem to be pretty independent from the rest of the flock. And uh, yeah, it looks like the drakes are still a little bit aggressive with them. Mundungus, don't be a jerk, huh? Eh? Really? They're part of your flock now. You gotta treat them accordingly. And even now, the four younger ducks are off doing their own thing most of the time during the day. So when you have that situation, you have to take your time and try to introduce them slowly. Over the last few days, ever since I harvested most of the geese, I've begun that process of trying to bring them together. In order to do that, what I'm doing is I'm letting the geese free range and wander around the farm, much like I let the ducks do every day. I really do love these birds. <laughs> Maybe they can be a little bit loud. But they got so much soul. Isn't that right, my little geese, huh? What's everybody doing this morning? Okay, we're gonna let you free range now. If you want to. <laughs> Only if you want to. And I'm trying to introduce them together by keeping their food and water somewhat in the same place. That close proximity potentially creates some extra friction, but it also creates a lot of chances for them to intermingle and establish some sort of pecking order. Because again, my ultimate goal is this winter, I wanna have all the ducks and all the geese ultimately move into this brand new duck house that I built right here. Um, this thing is like Fort Knox. It's been especially designed for waterfowl. It has clean out hatches, it has drain out ditches. It's raised up off the ground to make it hard for predators to enter. So this is very much gonna be where I want them to end up over the course of the winter. And I want them living together. But in order to do that, I gotta start mixing them up. Were you just laying an egg there, Jemima Puddle Duck? Huh? We got cats and geese and ducks. <laughs> Pablo does not like the geese at all. <laughs> Everybody be nice. Hey, you guys are bullies. I'm not even gonna let you live in the duck house. You know that, right? Finding that food is like the great equalizer here. And they co-mingle and realize there's plenty of food. Will that make them friendly? Ah. 
update how's it doing it's doing okay it kind of ebbs and flows with the rain that we get um we just got a lot of rain the other night and so it's nice and semi-full i'm wondering when i get the big snow melt this spring if it's going to hold all the water i want it to i might end up having to try to seal it off with some imported clay of some sort but with like all things here on the farm time will tell and it'll take a little time to learn hey guys you guys are being bullies. Just big, bad bullies. You know that? Get out of here. Let the ducks play. Be nice to the ducks. The ducks are going to be your friends. Don't you realize that? Those are the mini quacking down there. This is the main quacking. Ducks love that corn, man. So some of you guys have been asking about our little duckling, the lone duckling that we had. You know, remember we tried to hatch out a bunch of ducks naturally, and uh, only one of them survived. But you can see her right there, and I'm pretty sure she's a female. I'm looking at the coloring and how she's now starting to take shape at, uh, she's almost about seven, eight weeks old. Um, I'm pretty sure she's a female. Now the geese are taking over again. These don't even really want the corn. They prefer the grass. If you watch them, they're just ripping away. They love that fresh grass. Looks like the ducks are trying to do an end around. Like, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> you're seeing the ducks go to the water now is when they eat dry food like that generally speaking they want to have some sort of water as a source to help them wash it all down ducks need water to eat geese actually need water to eat too unless it's grass where they need a little bit of water but not a lot full disclosure this is my first time of ever having to do this what you see me doing here today where they're interacting they're getting used to each other the geese are pushing the ducks around a bit it's all part of trying to establish a pecking order amongst the birds. Ow! Len, what are you doing? I'm getting to the top of the pecking order! I'm doing it slowly. I'm giving them plenty of space. I'm gonna do it over the course of a couple of weeks. I'm not gonna rush it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna end up with a dead duck or two or, or bird skirmishes um, and have people breaking bird laws. Bird law in this country? It's not governed by reason. There's no such thing as bird yes, law. Yes, there is! You're Mr. Wildcard. Hey, Pablo. Yeah, you're 
staying close to me, Pablo? You don't want anything to do with those geese, huh? I literally can watch these ducks and geese interact for hours, and in fact I do. I have a bunch of work I have to do on the farm today, but I've been out here now for an hour just watching this. It's so much fun. <laughs> I'm kind of a weirdo.